Hello, and welcome to What AM, a daily look at the world, national, regional news, sports, campus events, and weather. I'm Gage Tunison. The Democratic Party's annual fall fundraiser has a new name. The event will be held November 1st and will attract international attention as it is, has in the past. Due to all Democratic presidential candidates who will speak, it's been rebranded as Liberty and Justice Celebration. For decades, the annual event was named for Thomas Jefferson and Andrew Jackson, who are considered the founders of the Democratic Party. A few years ago, Jefferson Jackson Day dinners in Iowa and other states were renamed after critics pointed out Jackson policies toward Native Americans and that Jefferson owned slaves. The Iowa Democratic Party has rented Wells Fargo Arena, the largest venue in Des Moines, for the 2019 Liberty and Justice Celebration on November 1st. Buffalo Wild Wings last week announced a deal with MGM Resorts to bring sports betting into their restaurants in the states where it is legal. But Iowa gambling regulators say you won't be able to go into the restaurants here and sign up for the sports gambling accounts. Iowa Racing and Gaming Commission Administrator Brian Orico says the only way to sit down to eat wings and gamble is to first sign up the mobile sports betting app, one of the state's licensed casinos. Ohirico says right now there are only two companies licensed in the state of Iowa allowed to offer advanced deposit sports wagering through mobile apps. You have to go to one of seven casinos they serve to sign up. An Eastern Iowa woman's second trial in the 1992 killing of her former boyfriend continues Thursday in Muscatine. 56-year-old Annette Cahill faces charges of first-degree murder. The beaten body of Corey Lee Wainkinicki Wanaki was found on the bedroom floor near to nearly 27 years ago. Cahill's first trial ended last March in a hung jury. A woman had come forward to tell authorities she had heard Cahill admit killing Wanaki when the woman was just nine years old. People fleeing the Bahamas after Hurricane Dorian will not be getting temporary protected status in the U.S. NBC News says granting temporary protected status to those displaced by the hurricane would allow them to legally live and work in the U.S. until it is safe to return to the islands. Over 300,000 people from 10 countries are living in the U.S. under temporary protected status. Some 1,500 people have come to the U.S. from the Bahamas since Hurricane Dor Dorian demolished its northern islands. We'll be right back with a look at your Witten TV weather and campus events. First, here's a look at the menu for today. This week on campus is your leading student-run newscast in the Siouxland area. The weekly show features all things Western Iowa Tech from deadlines to events. I follow This Week on campus on Facebook and YouTube so I never miss a beat. Without it, I wouldn't have known about Drop Zone Night, Pickled Palette Night here on campus, Movie Night at the Promenade, or that all of these activities are free. Tune in every Friday afternoon to stay up to date on the college Facebook or YouTube page with TV. For the latest programming, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Welcome back. In entertainment news, Chrissy Teigen is angry about President Donald Trump's tweets about her and her husband, John Legend. Trump had called her fifty mouth, filthy mouth and attacked Legend Sunday via Twitter. The model explained what went down during the Twitter exchange in a new interview on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Teigen said Trump's tweets came after Legend had been interviewed for a story on MSNBC about criminal justice reform. Joaquin Phoenix is spilling details on how he lost over 50 pounds for his performance as the Joker. The actor spoke to the New York Times about his weight loss journey as he prepared for the role. In the movie, Phoenix's character Arthur is portrayed as extremely thin, which gave the actor reservations. He said he had to lose a large amount of weight and is a horrible way to live. However, Phoenix eventually agreed to direct Todd Phillips' creative vision and lost 52 pounds. Joker premieres in theaters October 4th. House Democrats will discuss impeaching Trump today. Speaker Nancy Pelosi has been cool to the idea of impeachment and argues that the best way to remove Trump is to win the 2020 election. A majority of House Democrats support impeachment and members of the Judiciary Committee are scheduled to meet today to discuss and vote on parameters for possible impeachment proceedings against President Donald Trump. Taking a look at today's weather, today there is a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Cloudy has been coming gradually, mostly sunny with a high near 77. Chance of precipitation is 50%. Tonight, it will be mostly clear with a low around 55. And tomorrow, it will be sunny with a high near 75. Thanks for joining us. 
Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. See you tomorrow on This Week on Campus.